Students at South Medford High say their classmates are like family, but two dozen students say bullying is something that needs to be addressed. Newswatch 12's Genevieve Rayom shows us how, in one hour, one man brought them all together. 24 different students who normally sit at these lunch tables every day wrote in to Paul Coughlin and asked him to talk about bullying. Now it's something that often leaves people feeling unloved. But by the end of his presentation, the South Medford family showed there's a lot of love to go around. It was all hugs and happiness after the talk. The Panthers found something new to believe in. But it took an hour to get here. 24 of them wrote to me and said, We want to bring happiness to sad So do I. Paul Coughlin got straight to the point. His voice echoed through the crowd, his message loud, clear. And uncontested. I think it's a big problem here due to the fact that we have a lot of people that feel like they're just better than everybody else. The students sit under rows of banners. It's clear the Panthers excel at many things, but they've also been burdened. There's also been four within the past, I think, four years as well at our school. And that's a lot just to have um, a community go through. Well, Coughlin spoke, many remembered those Panthers who took their own life. And Coughlin told them it doesn't have to be that way. Leadership is a choice, it's not a position. He told them to stand up and speak out, to fight against bullying and win. And they took that as a challenge to come together and believe. I, I, believe. I, believe. I believe we will win. We will beat bullying. We will come together as one and beat bullying. At the end of the presentation, Paul Coughlin says a couple dozen students came up to him just to say thank you and to ask for his advice. If you want more information on his bullying seminars, you can head to our website, kdrv.com. In Medford, Genevieve Rayom, Newswatch 12.